Johnson on the Audrey Johnson Show. I'm speaking to the mayor of Yonkers. He has just done the most amazing thing that everybody will see. But Mr. Mayor, can you tell us what's going on here right now? Right now, we're actually at a networking session in probably the most significant project anywhere in the tri-state area. Rich Hill Village is over a million square feet of retail space, a thousand units of residential ownership and rental, incredibly situated on major highways, but it's got the highest quality you could imagine. And that's, that was, was important to us. When they came to us years ago and said they wanted to build this project, and they talked about the quality that they wanted to put into it, that's what sold us. They delivered on that. And that's probably the best thing that happened. They delivered on the kind of quality that raised the bar in Westchester County. And now the people will be coming here to see this kind of a project. Well, you just found your first person, because this is amazing. And to, yeah, and, and, and to be able to take this, what you just said, to, to around the five states, and not only that, but around the world, that what works, things do work, if you have the right people. But you seem so calm and just a great guy. Where does that come from? What is it about you? You don't see me on those other times. Before we get things like this approved, the calm isn't necessarily there. You know what, it's easy when you're working with good people. We had terrific people on the private sector who developed this project, terrific people on the city side who worked with me to work with them, and the end result is a project that is really going to be the envy of all. It's interesting the way it's designed, too. It's designed as a village. It has a main street, it has side streets, it has residential of all different economic levels and, and age levels. It's got restaurants, and it's got pubs, and it's got shopping and movies. It really is a small village in the middle of a big city. I know. I spoke to the, um, one of the women uh, uh, with a signature drink, and she came all the way from Las Vegas. So you bring it also a little bit of Las Vegas here. That works for me. Well, <laughs> listen, that fountain that's downstairs, when that starts out, that was designed by the architect who designed the fountains out of Bellagio and Mirage. So we are bringing a little bit of Las Vegas. Is there anything you want to tell those people or anyone even though we're going to get the ones that haven't been listening, but now what's going on, jobs and everything that's happening. What, what I will tell you, anybody out there, come to Yonkers. We're right next to New York City and we're proud of that. We're right on the Hudson River and we have the most spectacular view of the Palisades anywhere in the world. It's right here. We have access to the major cities around us, but importantly, we have our own entertainment, we have our own restaurants, we have our own shopping, we have great places to live, great neighborhoods. This is a terrific city. And the only way for you to really know that, you gotta come. Don't just listen to me, come and see for yourself, and I think you'll appreciate, this is really a terrific place. I grew up here. We raise our sons here, and I have no desire to leave. When I go, I'm going feet first. So, I invite you to come to Yonkers. If you don't like it, give me a call and let me know why. It's my pleasure now to introduce Mayor Amicone to say a few words. Thank you, Mark. One of the things that Forest City did was delivered on the quality that they said they were going to deliver on. What you see in Main Street, what you see on the buildings, is exactly what they said they were going to deliver. There was no bait and switch. They delivered the quality, they delivered the kind of stores we want, and they delivered a terrific project. And as we go through the rest of this year to the grand opening sometime in October, more and more people are coming up here and seeing what we've got here. I do want to know, that how many of you have been up here before? That is so good because only a few of you have been up here before. Which means those who are coming for the first time will go back and tell your friends. So it's working. What you did was working. And as time goes on, you'll continue to tell your friends this is the kind of a project that will set a new standard in Westchester County in the metropolitan area. Congratulations to Forest City Radner. Thank you for hanging in there during some very tough times. You're a big part of our city. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, why don't you share with the viewers and the world, the world, let's go into the world, yeah. what's going on in the city of Yonkers? Okay, we have a gigantic development here. It's 1.3 million square feet of retail space, and we have condominiums, and we have other blocks of uh, surprises, maybe a hotel someday, maybe other residential units, etc. But really, we're really excited that Lloyd & Taylor is going to be here next year. So right now, what you're seeing is we have cinema open.
open. We have a retailer called REI, an outdoor sporting goods place, and they're wonderful. And um, come October, we're going to have a whole flurry of other retail openings, um, including H&M, Sephora, L.L. Bean, Orvis. We're going to have Texas Day Brazil, Cheesecake Factory. Um, what else? Do do come on! We got a lot going on! Over here. Yeah. So we wanted to create an environment, an experience where life takes you. It's not just about A, the store, but it's about getting to the store. It's about how the people treat you before you get to the store, how you park your car. It's where life takes you. You're going to hang out in the village green. You're going to eat outside. You're going to walk with your friends. You're going to have a date. You're going to have so some social media excitement going on. We're going to have trolleys that are going to take the customer from one end to the other. We're going to have a gorgeous fountain that'll have fire breathing underneath it. And then we're going to have an amenity, a play area by a famous sculpture. But you're going to have to check it all out on our website. So go to westchestersridgehill.com, Facebook, Twitter, you'll find us. Thanks, Audrey. Thank you. Share with Westchester County, share with Yonkers what we're doing here. What are well, we doing? We are here celebrating business in Yonkers and in Westchester County. And at the Business Council of Westchester, we were one of the first supporters of Ridge Hill because we saw the economic potential that this great development had for our region and the jobs it's going to create for people and the business attraction. And so we have 300 businesses from around the region here who were really wanting to see Ridge Hill and came here today and are wowed by what we see. That's a wow and bravo, Marsha, because people are looking for jobs and your city is very rich. There's something about this city. I'm not sure what it is, but I keep hearing Yonkers, Yonkers. Why is that? Well, Yonkers, I mean, look at, we're at the crossroads of everything. Yes. At the crossroads, we're at the Hudson Valley, we're close to New York City, great transportation, but most of all, we have great people. Yes. And it's really the intellectual capital. You know, Westchester County is the intellectual capital of New York State. And so it real that's what attracts businesses, the people, the workers, the service you get, the, the, the quality of workers that, that are here. And that's what Yonkers is about.